Hey my sax playing friend, Alexander here from saxophonemasterclass.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to take you through the reasons why you're not getting those low notes out on the saxophone. I get it. It's super frustrating. It's super annoying. One day you're getting them, the next day you're not. What's going on? Well, I'm going to take you through three of the main reasons why you may be having problems with those low notes. And number three may surprise you, so make sure to stay through to the end and learn about why you're not getting those those low notes on the saxophone. Now if you don't know the low notes on the sax, don't worry, just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash fingerings and that will actually take you through every single fingering on the saxophone. So I show you all the lower notes, I show you the higher notes, the palm keys, the side keys, they're all in there with the charts, with the note names, and it's completely free. So go and check that out, go and download it, and I'll make it a lot easier to follow what I'm talking about in this lesson as well. So first, let me just show you what I mean by the low notes on the saxophone. Anything below G here is the lower range on the saxophone, in my opinion, going all the way down to that low B flat. So let me play them for you. So they are all the low notes going from G chromatically all the way down to B flat. Now I'm going to give you three ways that's going to make it easier to start getting your low notes on the saxophone. The number one reason is that you need to work on your diaphragmatic breathing. This is one thing that can take weeks, months, years to get really perfect, but it's something really important when it comes to playing the saxophone and especially getting the low notes on the saxophone. Now I have another lesson that goes through how to do diaphragmatic breathing step by step, and I'm going to link to that at the end of this lesson, so make sure to stick around to the end. But I'm going to show you what I mean by a diaphragmatic breath. So first things first, you want to actually put your saxophone down and you want to just focus on taking a deep breath from your stomach right here. Now you shouldn't be seeing any of your shoulders raise up, your chest raise up. This is why you want to look in the mirror as you're doing this. There's other ways you can increase your air intake. You can actually breathe in from your chest after you breathe in from your stomach like this. So you're taking a little bit in with your chest as well and maybe you're raising a tiny bit, but you're not going like this, okay? You don't, you wanna avoid tensing up this area. So that's just one thing to think about when you're trying to get those low notes on the sax. You wanna make sure you've got that deep diaphragmatic breath and when you're breathing out, you wanna keep your throat and mouth open like you're fogging up a mirror. And that, you wanna have that visual in your head as you're playing the low notes on the saxophone. Let me show you. So I'm keeping everything firm in my embouchure, but I'm sort of opening up my throat to let more air through the saxophone. So I'm not dropping my jaw or anything like that. I'm just focusing on putting warm air through the saxophone so that I can really execute those lower notes. So that's just one way to really try and get those lower notes on the sax. Another thing to do is to actually be conscious of when you're tonguing the notes on the saxophone in that low range. So you wanna actually tongue every note as you're going down lower on the saxophone. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm tonguing every note there, and that makes it a lot easier to execute those low notes on the sax. If you're just slurring into the notes without tonguing, this could be another reason why you're not getting them, why you might be going up the octave, especially when you're a beginner. If you don't tongue the note, it makes it a lot easier for the saxophone to end up going up the octave like this. Okay, so you might end up going up the octave as you're trying to go down lower. That's because you're not tonguing each note and you're just slurring into them and that makes it a lot easier for the saxophone to go into the overtone, which is what's happening there. Now, I'm not gonna get into 
what overtones are in this lesson. If you want to check out another lesson on overtones, I have another video about that and I'll link to it at the end of this lesson too. But basically what's happening is that you're going higher instead of staying lower on the sax. Now the number three reason why you're not getting those low notes on the sax has nothing to do with you. Yes, I know we always love to blame our instrument or our reed or our mouthpiece if something isn't right. Well, in this case, I'm actually blaming the saxophone. There actually may be problems with leaks in the low end of your instrument. It may not be you at all, which is why it's important to get an experienced saxophone player to play your saxophone to see if there are problems in the lower register of the instrument. What could be happening is that as you're getting lower on the instrument some of these pads like this one here might end up not sealing properly it might not be closing all the way and therefore it is leaking which makes it impossible to get the low notes on the sax this is the low C so if this is leaking in any way you won't be able to get the low C the same thing goes for these notes here if these aren't closing properly you're not going to be able to get the low B flat or the low B right so you need to get that checked by a repairman. So that's reason number three, you might actually have problems with the lower register of the sax. You might actually have problems with the instrument. There may be leaks in the bottom. This is why you need to take it to a repairman that might find other problems with the saxophone so they can give you an expert opinion about what needs to be fixed on the instrument. So there are the three reasons why you might not be getting your low notes out on the saxophone. You might not be breathing correctly, being able to get that power to play those lower notes. You might be just slurring into all the notes, which makes it a lot more susceptible to playing those overtones and ending up playing higher on the instrument instead of tonguing the notes, which makes it a lot easier to get out those low notes. And number three, you could actually just have problems with the instrument itself, which is why you need to either get an experienced sax player to check it out or go to a sax repairman and make sure that everything is working properly. So I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I'm going to link to the other lessons I talked about around the screen here. Make sure to download the fingering chart at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash fingerings and you can get that for free and I show you all the low notes, I show you all the high notes, all the side keys, all the fingerings on the saxophone so you can start learning all your fingerings today. Let me know which of the three helps you with improving your low notes, what you found was the culprit in terms of not being able to get those low notes. I'm really interested to know and if you have any other questions please let me know as well. And remember I put out lessons every single week so make sure to click that subscribe button, make sure to click the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. Until the next lesson my friend, happy playing.